Okay. Okay, guys. So, ibig sabihin nito. Oh, uh, nandiyan pala kayo. <laughs> okay, um welcome ulit dito sa aming second professional podcast that's also a video. Ako si Red. And introduce yourselves. I am Casey from Think Watch and also an FF member. John Devera from AI, also an FF member. Bea Tore, also an FF member. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nine members. Na <laughs> Jamie from FF So, yeah, I'll be saying that. Okay, so ang common, of course, sa mga kasama natin ngayon ay part sila ng LGBT advocacy group ng FF and ng kanilang mga organizations that's also pro-LGBT because this week is UP Pride Week! Yay! Yay! Okay, so ang topics natin ngayon na pag-uusapan is how do straight supporters like me and Kenneth and Fran show their support for yung mga friends natin sa LGBT community. So, paano kami makakapagpakita ng support? Um, let's start with, ano, let's go this way. Hello? Uh, For me, ang pinaka-important to any cause is your presence. Eh. So, for things like this, yung, ano, this week, magkakaroon ng Pride March, this Thursday, sa UP. So, ayun, by being there, straight supporters already show their support. Do I need to look at the camera? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. You know, number one is the presence. And then, presence. Uh, I guess, I know, being an advocate. Then, every time na when uh, talking to their friends or whoever, parang people who have certain, you know, misunderstandings about LGBTs, na, and, and you know more about them, or you could educate them. Mm. For you know, breaking misconceptions like all gays are promiscuous and again, yeah, yeah. and because no, they're not. But I know gay people and whatever. Okay, okay, thank you. Ron, I'm thinking of like helping. Um, so two things. Usually, ang ang sinasabi ko lang ay uh, one, education, and two, interaction. So education meaning you uh, educate yourself. Or educate others. Um, try to find out as much as you can about um, LGBT rights and LGBT issues. Now, the second, naman, I interaction. Um, <laughs> so, um, madalas nabi marinig na, um, for example, si si Manny Pakel di ba sabi niya, um, I don't hate gays. Mm-hmm. But I, I even have friends and relatives who are gay. Mm-hmm. In, in this day and age, that doesn't mean anything. Wala yeah. nang ano yun, wala nang value yun. Kasi everyone knows... Um, at least one person is LGBT. LGBT. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so let's, let's take it to the next level. Um, interact, interact. If you're a straight ally, interact with the people that you know uh, who self-identify as uh, LGBT. And really find out. Hindi yung, hindi yung iyayabang nyo lang na may kilala akong gay or may kamaganak ako na, na gay. Find out that they're coming out stories, Find out what their struggles are. Find out yung, what what their aspirations are, and and really understand. Try to understand uh, their perspective of uh, of the world. Para hindi hindi lang siya na hindi lang siya ganon sa sa level na may kilala ang bakla or may kilala ang lesbian. But but the, your your knowledge is uh, talagang based on interaction, not just yung kasi kilala mo. Siya. Okay, I think tama yung sinabi mo. I mean. I think ang kop na education and interaction is nari mo dahil yung team ng UP Babaylan I think is is educate to end the hate and UST so and UST USC USC University Sorry. Student yeah. Council okay educate to end the hate and badaming dito sa discrimination and prejudice nagsisimula sa schools so importante talaga yung education daya um so we're still on ano yes yes, yes. a street alley so pretty. Uh, I think um, adding to what Ron said, because you know, I also agree with the importance of, of learning more about the group and the cause that you support. Um, siguro one thing uh, that uh, I would like straight allies to keep in mind is to remember that, or to be open to the possibility that we might be carrying misconceptions. Now, all along, even when we think that we are allies or that we are supportive of the community, bakakameron parin tayong mga 
um, baggage na mga nakulot natin along yung, our, our years of living in a, you know, a homophobic society. So, uh, siguro that's one thing, to be, to be open to the possibility na we still may have uh, some homophobic or some heteronormative ideas in our minds na we still need to work on. So, um, yeah, parang just uh, be willing to change our own ideas, our own actions. Okay, and uh, Jamie, as someone na nag, nasa school pa ngayon, like, ano yung tingin mong particular sa school environment na advice na may mo? I'm sure madaming mga instances ng um, bullying, and prejudice, yeah. and discrimination. Yeah. Well, I think everyone has mentioned that already na, yun niya, education, uh, presence. But I think what's more, most important is just being aware. Because, like, everyone else, LGBTs have issues. Yun niya, like everyone else, I mean, we have issues on academics, on relationships. And that shouldn't make us really different from straight people. So being aware in itself could help in, in you being present on, say, activities like the Pride March on Thursday. Or, or it could start, it could be the flicker you need to educate yourself. So really, just be aware and just be realistic that these things are actually happening. Okay, so beyond the interactions that you would nor normally um, experience on a day-to-day -day basis, like talking to your gay friends and relatives, paano kung hindi pa sapat yun? Like, what if I, as a straight supporter, want to learn more about what it means to be an LGBT, yung mga ano, experience nila? What should I do to, to learn more? Like. Aside from just Googling uh, and LGBT, that's a Wikipedia page. Yeah, I think that's page. step one. Eh. Yeah, uh, a lot, most people would do that. But as someone who, who knows more than the you know, than the usual people, what do you think? You, um, so you have an education, self-education, but mm -hmm. yeah. of interaction. Based on the interaction, palam, um, depending on how you interact with people with, with LGBT people. That's how you would determine what step three is. Mm -hmm. Meron ka ng step one, educate, step two, interaction. And then, um, yung the most, uh, at, at least from based on my experience, yung the most um, usual step three is attending um, training sessions, orientations. Because yeah. um, usually, ang dun yung pagka may kilala ka and you find out new things. About the, the topic, nakaka ng interest, and then you start looking for uh, for pepper, <laughs> <laughs> and then you start looking for yung um, venues to learn. Na at marami yon, marami ng especially na marami ng um, NGOs, groups, student groups uh, who offer uh, yung ganong kinds of sessions. Okay, so aside from ito, alam natin na makakatulong yung pagiging aware of LGBT, the, the needs of the LGBT community, what what they really are about, uh, makakatulong yun to individuals to be better people as individuals. Pero I also know na very crucial yung LGBT support from the straight community. Why is this? Why is it crucial na mag-show ng support yung straight allies? Uh, partly because of uh, yung marami kasing misguided notions about uh, LGBT rights being special rights. Yeah. That, that, that a minority group is asking to be granted special treatment. So I think um, the support of straight allies uh, can help show that LGBT rights are a concern of everyone, not, not just of, of LGBT people, but um, for as long as LGBT people are discriminated against, are bullied, are targeted uh, with hate crimes, <coughs> straight people are also affected by those things, affected negatively by those things. Right? Like what you know, we've talked about, parang, we, all of us have friends and family who are LGBT, diba, parang, so we can all imagine how it would be like to know what, what diba, yung, the idea na your friends, your family are experiencing, are experiencing discrimination. discrimination mm -hmm. so, um, so I think having straight allies, vocal straight allies, supports uh, the idea that uh, LGBT rights are important for everyone, not just for uh, as, uh, specific One of the common misconceptions na madalas kong naririnig, lalo na nung 
nung isang taon nung nag-file yung ang landad for party list accreditation na hindi naman daw marginalized and hindi naman daw na victimized yung LGBT community. I think you're in a position to tell us about how they are victimized as a part of the Pink Watch. Well, well first, I don't really believe that there is an LGBT community that is separate of the community as a whole. Mm. Kasi we are you know, sons, daughters, mothers and fathers, we're, ayun, we're working, we're functional members of society. And so, ang ano na marginalize ang LGBTs in the sense LGBT individuals yeah. in the sense na there are cases where in nata target sila pagdating sa mga discrimination and hate crimes yung ganon nga uh, we at Pink Watch formerly known as Hate Crime Watch uh, have collected data of LGBTs or ano identified or perceived mm. that have been killed. Mm. And not not just killed in ano parang homicide, talag talagang in a violent way, in a very brutal way. Gratuitous violence. Oh, talaga, and parang yun na yung pinaka worst na ano na na experience na LGBT individuals. Pero ang the more subtle ones naman is yung ano simple discrimination. Ay nga na uh, like example for the transgenders na hindi hindi sila ginagrant ng yung pagkababae nila. For example, for trans women, ayun, nahihirapan silang ano, pumasok ng CR, parang yun, such a simple thing na na-discriminate na sila pagdating sa ganun pala. So, so sige, yeah. let's talk about the the subtle ways that violence or discrimination can happen. Kasi, mag important yung point na na-raise mo, hindi kailangan na may physical violence, like sinusuntok or sinasaksak or binabarel para magkaroon ng discrimination. Merong mga more subtle forms. Mm -hmm. uh, ang isa kong naiisip is kahit yung mga supposedly harmful comments na kunyari, ah, bakit ano, bakit ka uh, matatakotin? Uh, bakla kaya ta eh, or bading kaya ta eh, uh -huh. or bakit ang hinhin mo naman? Or pagka babae, bakit hindi ka nagme-makeup, tibu kaya ta eh. Mm -hmm. So yung mga ganung bagay, um, of course based yun dun sa premise na merong certain ways mag-express ang lesbians or gays or bisexuals. And, of course, it's one of the most basic things na hindi yun yung case. So, ano pa sa tingin nyo yung mga subtle pero very common ways na nadi-discriminate or na ma-marginalize yung LGBT yeah. indi individuals? I guess yun, yeah. Yung, yung people judging LGBT individuals on the way they act, like, even on the way you sit or why you don't like to give your chair to some lady passenger. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, simple things that you, we all think that these things are harmless, but really, they might not be. Lalo na kung LGBT individuals are that, right? And you don't have these similar stereotypes for straight people. So why should LGBTs have that? Okay. Um, so, maraming iba-ibang ways na yung mga like, subtler forms of discrimination yeah. that we talk about. So, yun nga yung mga parang um, stereotypes and even like I've seen this a lot when, I, when, um, when I'm with my LGBT friends, my yeah. many, many LGBT friends, uh, and we are with other straight people. And I notice a lot of comments na parang hindi talaga nila sinasadya pero very derogatory. Like, um, assuming that all gay people um, pay for sex or are always on the lookout for ano, for sex workers. Diba? Parang little things like that, diba? very demeaning kasi parang in-equate mo yung identity ng isang tao with these very broad stereotypes that are really not accurate. And so instead of knowing that person and taking the time to find out you know, what that person likes, what that person is about, parang you just assume, make assumptions about uh, who he or she is. So um, you know, even minor things like that, um, we might not realize, pero nakakontribute tayo sa, um, sa, sa feelings of, of discrimination of stigma ng mga LGBT people. Uh, siguro maganda rin kasi pag-isipan. I like what Jamie said earlier about like LGBT people are also experiencing stress. The same kinds of stress that uh, straight people experience. Of, like Stress about grades or about work or about love life. Tapos, in addition to that, uh, imagine having to deal with an, another source of stress, which is the possibility that 
uh, hindi ka pa natatanggapin ng mga people around you. Mm. Um, so imagine having to deal with, like, every day of your life, having to deal with uh, thinking about, is it okay to be out to this person, this set of people? Uh, how out can I be? How much can I express? Parang nakapagod din siya for LGBT people. And these are things that we take for granted, frequently take for granted as straight. Yeah, like for example, in the school or in the workplace, the nakakarin yung mas additional stress nga caused by discrimination na parang LGBTs are forced to conform to the heteronormative culture. Na for example, if you're you know, biologically male and your expression is more feminine, parang you will be restricted from you know, wearing your hair long or wearing makeup or whatever. You know. And then in the workplace, ayun, may mga dinadinay na trabaho because they're LGBT, especially when it comes to transgenders. Kasi uh, their papers in the documents are bi either biologically male or female, but then their appearance is the opposite of their biological sex. Diba? Uh, but yeah. what we need to remember is uh, a lot of these things are sometimes not, not even deliberate you know, because of the... Um, because of the programming and how much it's ingrained in our mentality. Um, minsan kahit hindi sinasadya ng isang, even a straight ally, um, meron din mga hurtful expressions uh, na kasi nakasanayan na. Uh, and even among LGBT people, meron din, meron din ganun na, na pag-iisip. Um, for example, yung um, because of the mismatch of gender expression and uh, sexual orientation. Yeah. Yeah, in expect na pag uh, effeminate ang isang lalaki, automatically bakla. Na there, there's no acknowledgement na sexual orientation is divorced from gender expression. Gender expression. So yung yung mga ganung pag-iisip na sometimes even LGBT advocates who mm. understand those concepts on a theoretical level mm. on a day-to-day -day basis hindi naman nagta-translate. Meron pa din ganung mga uh, dis may discrimination or may discriminatory um, remarks pa rin. So we just need to keep an open mind. Yeah, yeah and about that, yun nga, na ignorance about the LGBT you know, issues is not just you know, for the straight people, eh. Parang even within the you know, LGBT community. Or you know, certain LGBT individuals, meron din yung, ano, ayun, may mga sarili, may mga kanya -kanyang prejudice towards other LGBTs. So, nanggagaling yung pressure or yung discrimination not only from those that we consider bigoted or prejudiced or yung mga super ultra conservative, uh, pero kahit yung mga straight allies or even members of the LGBT community itself na nakakatulong sa per perpetuate. So we understand why this problem is so difficult to tackle. Ang daming kailangan maintindihan yung heteronormativity, yung pagkakaroon ng pagkakaiba ng gender expression and ano, gender identity. Gender identity. Madaming, madaming concepts pero we have to take small steps. Mm -hmm. And eventually, things will get better pero we have to make an effort. And one of the things that you can do is support yung mga events this week. Um, ano ba yung mga nakaline up natin? Uh, ayun, so, sumasyon nga namin sa umpisa na this week is Pride Week, UP Pride Week. Uh, on Thursday, that we will have the Pride March. Uh, well, ano ba? Wait, na ilis. Sa Friday merong ano? Uh, forum. Yeah. Um, on select topics. Uh, ang naalala ko yung anti-discrimination bill. Uh, mm -hmm. Pag-usapan sa organized by NC Bag. I can remember. And the Wednesday is uh, pink shirt yeah. day, so people in UP are encouraged to wear wow. pink. Okay. Yeah, pink shirts. Tuesday is the okay. opening of the Next 20 exhibit. questions exhibit yes. in the AS lobby. That's in the morning. That all your exhibit is all throughout the week. And uh, in the afternoon, naman is the forum on uh, Alan, Alan Turing, Turing, yeah, Turing. who is one of. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, all of this information will be posted on the website. Um, just stay just go to this link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything else you'd like to you'd like to plug or remind our audience or our millions what? of viewers? Well since we're talking about UP and Pride Week, if 
you're interested FFPPD applications are going so send yeah. your information if any to FFPPD at I mean FFPPD Diliman, sorry at gmail.com okay um, thank you so much for watching our very professional <laughs> podcast that's also a video and educate to end the hate yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> dapat in unison yun eh take two educate to end the hate okay now back to play time okay thank you very much see you next time okay yeah. Let's we can make it a game. <laughs> TV. <laughs> so na mga comments. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>